Hello guys, welcome to the next episode of the Loot Tutorial. And uh, just a quick kick off uh, where we were, where we left off. Uh, we have got the items coming on, and we've got the spawns. And when they've rolled, they actually have stats uh, generated for them. You can see the white ones or the common ones have lower stats than the higher ones generally. Obviously, there will be a couple that are not that case, but we're going to move on from there. So today, we've got quite a lot of things to go through. Uh, we're going to look at equipping these items um, and adding those stats to ourselves. Uh, but what I'm going to need to do is there's a bit of prep work in order to do this. Uh, first thing is we need to add this stat struct to our player. So we can do it nice and quickly. Uh, go into our third person character. And under the variables we'll just add stats. And we shall have stat struct. But and save. And what we can also do is we're going to add uh, a new struct in, which is going to store all of our items. So if we go to our main folder, we're going to create a new enum. So blueprint and enum. And we're going to call this item type. And in here, we should add a couple examples, helmet, chest, and boots, just as an example. And then we'll create new struct, blueprint struct. This is going to be called item struct, which has already been created. Just double check, rarity, boot score. So we'll add a new entry to this, we just call this item type, and we'll give that the item type enum. File and save, and go into the person's character, and we can add a array of item structs now, so we'll call this uh, equipped items. Uh, item struct. And we can have an array. Or the other options, what we can do is we can actually use a map of uh, stats. So we can use, if we set to item type, and on the right hand side we're here, we can change it to a map and change the struct to item struct. File and save. Okay. That's the first bit of preparation that we need to do. The second bit is we need to add an input action, uh, which has changed in 5.1, so that when we press E, or any button for that matter, uh, on the item, then it goes stored into our inventory. To do that, uh, you can go third person and input, and we'll be copying what's here. So if we go to right click, and we want input and input action. This is the new uh, IA interact. And we shall just save it straight away because that's all we need. And then in the IMC default, we can add the mapping, which we would normally do in the project settings. So add, select interact. And we'll this time we just call it the E key, save and close. And now here we can go IA interact and just so we know it works, we can just click print and it prints hello. So at the moment we have got the event tick trace. So we can get a reference to this loot item. And we can also clear that reference when stopping, stop looking at an item. So now if we go over and we hover over anything, not that you want to see anything, but this will be stored as loot item DP. So we can go control and drag for loot item DP and if valid or is valid and use the question mark so you have the execute node, otherwise you use 
uh, a boolean and then you have to put a branching anyway to get the same thing. We can get item details and break them. And then this is where we can sort out where it goes in our equipped items. So if we equip and change, add the three elements here, file and save, we can switch on item type. And we can control and drag the equipped items out and we want to add in the map and helmet the item stats. Item details even. And we can copy and paste that a couple of times for the other versions. So what the add node does is if it is already existing, we replace it. If it doesn't already exist, then we add it. Well, add save. And what we can then do at the end of this, so we can add a sequence here, otherwise we have to do multiple lines from the back here. We can create a new function, I'm just gonna call it refresh uh, stats. And we want to get our stats, and we want to set everything to zero again. So we want to set members everything to zero then we want to get our equipped items type in keys which gets us the list of entries and then for each we want to find in that same map and then break the item and then break the stats. And then we can add everything to here. So we go to stats, set members, and we want to break as well. So attack, defense, and speed. So attack plus defense plus and speed plus. Well, and save. So the reason why we have to set it to zero is otherwise if you unequip and re-equip or if you equip new items, it will continually go up. It won't ever go back down to zero. It won't ever split back down. Uh, refresh stats. And what we'll do is we shall just have a print string as well. So print text, just so we can get the format text. I'm just gonna have the three numbers. We have attack, we have defense, and we have speed. Get our stats and break them apart. Attack, defense, and speed. If it's not valid, nothing's going to happen. So if I press equip or interact, nothing happens. But if I go over to uh, here we have a 342, uh, it's 142, 118, 101, and it's not going to do anything until we change what the loot's going to be. So if we go into our loot, and loot spawner, and at the moment we change rarity, loot score and stats, but what we can do as well is random integer in range, item type, number of entries, minus one, and then integer to, to byte, and then byte to enum item type. Bring that up there, file and save, and finally 
we just need to let you know what it is. So we can just add a text box. Just about everything, we can even put it to the right so we can see it. And we'll set the binding to be item type. Make sure you choose enum to string, not byte to string. Otherwise, you get the number rather than the actual name. Fill in all the information. So now, in something spawns, we have boots for 83, and we have a helmet for 55, and boots again. So we can equip them. It doesn't remove them from the environment at the moment, but obviously that's fairly simple, you just destroy the active now that you have a reference for it in text. Uh, so the other thing that we're going to do is we're just going to change this quickly, so we're going to have a helmet. Chest and boots. Print string, print string, print string. those and equipped items uh, find so we want the helmet chest and boots and we can break that to get the arm stats This is purely just to show, uh, you don't need to do any of this. This is purely just to show that we're changing our items. Uh, so at the moment we have nothing. And if we uh, look at this helmet, and if I find another helmet now, it should see eight, 18. Find some boots. Well, let's add a chest. There's some boots. Add them. And you can see if I add something different, it unequips it and re equips the new one. And if we have anything not in there already, then it equips it. Well, there you go guys that's uh, the next episode a nice quick one uh, next one we're just going to add a couple of quick bits but that's all i'm really going to be doing for this series uh, it was only intended to be a quick series uh hope you enjoyed it uh and uh, the next series will be coming on very soon so thank you very much and i shall see you next time